Today, I'm building a rust base underground. Or at least that's the plan. Taking on a fresh wipe, vanilla server with no blueprints, solo. God help me. So let's begin. The time was 3 p.m. and the server had just wiped. Armed with nothing but a rock and a torch, I headed off into the harsh wilderness. Now today's goal was to build an underground base. And how was I gonna do this? By finding a cave. Easily identifiable on the map, but rarer than finding cloth on wipe day. <gasps> Let's fucking go. Being so few, yet so strong for building powerful bases, caves are incredibly desirable. This meant I was against the clock. If I wanted to secure one for myself, I'd have to get there before anyone else. The race was on. I located all three of the caves that had spawned on the map. And with one too close to the beach, the other deep in the snow, this left only one option. I was going to the desert. Go, 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 go. Oh my God, I've got to get there so quickly. I've got so far to run. Oh God, I hope I get there first. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing it again. Uh, I'm, I'm playing 1000 player server. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but fuck it, I'm gonna make it work. But be warned, I, I'm probably gonna die a lot. Uh, I'm ready for it. It's gonna be a rough day. Oh, two bits of cloth. What the hell? It's my lucky day. All right, so I got a bag. Next up, I want a bow. Now I don't actually have the time to stop and farm. I just have to run. But at some point, I'm gonna need to get the resources for my base. So I'm thinking the fastest way to get more than enough resources, we'd be going to Outpost. So that's the plan. With the cave located so close to Outpost, I would be able to go to both. But the question was, how would I cross the 10 grid distance alive? A question I was pondering until I found this. <gasps> Horse! Let's go! And it's got good stamina. We're in, boys, we're in. Cave base, here I come. Yes, the rust gods had clearly blessed me today. With the horse, I raced my way towards outpost. Farmed some nodes along the way, and I was ready to buy the wood. All right, I don't want to jinx it, but so far, this is going very, very well. I've got cloth, I've got stone, I can buy wood. I have the fastest horse in the game. If I don't get to that cave first, I might cry. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen outpost this empty on a 1,000 player server. This is insane. I'm literally one of the first people here. At Outpost, I bought plenty of wood and crafted everything I'd need for the base. Building plan, hammer, tool cupboard. You guys know the drill. I even crafted myself a bow. But if I were to run into one of the 20-man groups, it probably wouldn't be much help. And so, with no more time to waste, I left Outpost and headed for the cave. This was it. Had I been fast enough to secure it? Had my Outpost trip cost me too much time? Let's find out. Oh, people are arriving at Outpost. I hope he's not going for the cave too. Come on. There it is, the cave. Let's go. Oh my god, that guy scared me. Wait, he's got a tool. And seeing as this unarmed naked was clearly a serious threat to my cave, there was only one thing to do. <laughs> you thought you were safe. Worth. Here we go. Come on, surely I am the first person here. Come on. What? Oh, oh, he's too good. And this was it. The most important part of this journey. <gasps> yes! We got the cave! What, what is it? Is it a bucket? Let's go! We got the bucket cave! Okay, let's build. I'm not messing around this time. I'm not letting the same thing happen that happened last time. I don't know if you guys remember, but I, I got my cave base raided in two seconds. Not today. I am sealing this entrance off. Learning from some prior, rather unfortunate events, I decided to completely seal off the entrance to my cave. And with just two building blocks, this base was already four rockets to raid. And with so many layers that can be built and upgraded, my plan was to make this base unraidable. Oh, that feels good. I am not gonna get eco raided today. No, sir. Right, the question is, how well can I expand? Ooh, I can do triangles. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. I reckon tool covered right in the corner over here would be good. Boom. TC locked. Cave is mine. For now, at least, there is nothing anyone can do to take this from me. Okay, little campfire down. 
Right, the next thing I need to do is add a doorway to the bucket, just in case someone does try to jump down, but yeah, no one's getting through that. Alright, let's see how well I can seal up this entrance. Ah, I'm not going to be able to fit a square. Come on, that looks like that should work. No, come on, please, let me do something. What about if we just try all triangles? Wait, does that work? Wait, that actually kind of works. Oh shit, I've done it. Oh yes, I can even place that one. Oh, that actually works so well. I think this is the luckiest I've ever been with a cave base design. This is going to be beautiful. After sealing off the main entrance to the cave, a lot of you are probably wondering, Wilja, how exactly do you get in? You don't. In fact, in order to actually get into this base, there's only one thing you can do. Die. Yup, that's right. In order to actually access this base, the only way in is to jump down a massive hole to your death. And then, respawning inside, you're able to collect the loot at the bottom. And what this means is while I'm online, raiding this base through the bucket is practically impossible. As as any raider attempts to drop down, they'll die, and I can collect their loot. Leaving raiders with only one choice, to raid straight through the sealed walls. Oh, I've really missed this man, it has been such a long time since I last built in a cave, but you guys, every single upload without fail, have been begging me to do one again. And I must say, I don't know why I don't do it more often. This is honestly such a good feeling, just having this whole space to myself, knowing that I'm safe, and I guess we'll see how it continues to go, and whether I stay safe for long. The particular cave I was living in was slightly unique, in that there were two separate build locations, both within the cave. And so far, I'd only claimed one of them, but there was no way I was going to share this cave with anyone else. So, the first thing I did was craft a tool cupboard, ride the bucket up to the top, and seal up the second build spot. Oh, and I farmed the endlessly spawning nodes along the way. Oh, I've missed how good it feels just being able to farm nodes, like, <laughs> just outside the front of your door. Alright, here we go. Luckily no one's taken this over yet. Yeah, there's no way I, I can let anyone live down here, because that would just be awful for me. So I'm just going to seal it up with a tool cupboard. And just so no one can ever get this tool cupboard back, I'm going to upgrade it all to stack. And with that, both cave spaces were now mine. Time to test out if I can actually get back in my base. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! Yay! I actually remembered to place my bag. That would have been a slight problem if I'd forgotten. Get all of my loots. The base was sealed, and it could tank at least four rockets. I was feeling pretty safe but I had a lot to do on my checklist. See, to get the most out of this cave base and to make it truly unraidable, there were a few things I needed. Firstly, the garage door, meaning I'd need a workbench level two, and lots and lots of metal and high qual. So workbench, furnace, and wood to smell. Let's get to work. I got a little advanced tip for some of you gamers out there. If you didn't know, the longer you live, the more animal fat you actually get from your body. And since that was my first death, I should actually get a fair bit of animal fat from harvesting myself. Pretty brutal, but uh, <laughs> we do everything we can as a solo. Look at that, nine animal fat. Huge. And for the first time since settling into my cave, I rose to the surface. And naturally, immediately forgot all of my objectives by getting distracted hunting players. Ooh. He's got shorts. Got it. <laughs> Poor guy. The train! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a lot more than that. There's another guy on the train track down there. I think that guy's just naked though. Probably not worth it. Wait, does that guy even have a door? I don't actually think he does. Ah, oh, shit. No, he does. Never mind. It's just the twig door it blended in. Oh, he doesn't have a door behind it though. This might just be worth camping. Because if I can kill him, I should be able to get all the way into his base. Oh, never mind. He placed another door. Well, shit. Oh, who's this? He did. Well, I'll take another bow and a pickaxe. Thank you. 
Let's go. Briefly remembering that I at least had some objectives, I decided to head to the road in the hunt for some scrap. I got distracted again. Stop the train! Wait, he stopped it. He stopped! Go, 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 go! No! <laughs> no! Oh, that was so close. And after returning to farm barrels, someone caught my eye. Ooh, that was a road farmer. I'm not sure if he saw me. I'm gonna hide behind this car. Come on, keep farming down this road. Run right to me, you know you want to. Oh, he's farming the little electrical station. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna come here next to this barrel. I'm gonna wait right here. Here he comes. Ooh. Bro, he's running for his life. Bone arrows. I need the bigger hitbox. No. Yes. Let's go. Come on. Please have some juice. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, where's my gloves? Give it. Bow. Pipes. Arrows. Fuck. I'm out. Wait. No, I need the blades. <laughs> I need the blades. Uh, go, 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 go. Wait. The chair. I can't forget the chair. <laughs> What would Spoon Kid say? Alright, okay, now I'm out. If I die because of that damn chair, please let me get this home. This would be insane. We're almost there. We're almost there. Into the cave! I just kind of want that torch. Oh, I made it. And into the hole. Let's go. What a win. What a way to start the day off. 200 scrap, pipes, components, stone. Even got enough low grade for a furnace. What a kind donation from that farmer. I placed my victory chair, nice. deposited my riches in the tool cupboard, and got straight to work crafting the furnace. But what skin do I choose today? I. I have too many furnace skins. I'm gonna go with the porcelain. I like that set. Ah, I feel good. The cave life is treating me well so far. Boom, furnace down. Ah, I'm gonna have to farm wood. God damn it. A worst thing in this game. At least I got that metal hatchet from that poor stranger at the start. I could now sit in my throne and use the comfort to get to full HP. And then it was time for my first proper farm run. However, after returning to the surface, I had a problem. Neighbours, who had decided to build overlooking my cave entrance. I knew that they would have to be dealt with. But for now, farming. Now I'd noted that my neighbours only had a wooden base, and so I could assume they were probably out farming so they could upgrade. I could only hope to catch them before they made it home. And sure enough... Oh wait. I think that's him. No. Oh, it's two? Ah. Oh, this isn't good. I've got a duo living next to me, man. Oh, where's this guy? Oh, he is fully running for outpost. Ah, there's no way I'm gonna catch him. It seemed as though all hope was lost. The player, most likely carrying the loot, was making it back to Outpost. Until this happened. Wait, there's no way. He's gonna get killed by the wall. <laughs> there's no way. He just died to a wolf. Oh no. Oh, motherfucker. No. I'm gonna die to the wolf. No. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no, he is so sad. That was what they needed to get that metal door to. Okay, that's perfect. I feel like my best way of dealing with them right now is by just halting all of their progression. Without any explosive blueprints, raiding my neighbors would be impossible. And so what's the next best option? Okay, no, not door camping. But by messing with them, killing them, and halting their progression as much as I can, then maybe I can keep their threat under control. Oh shit, no. 
I'm not gonna be able to get in the cave. Fuck. No, 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 he hits that. Oh, it's two. Wait, that's them? They have a crossbow? Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna die. I can't afford to give them back this stuff. Please keep missing, please keep missing. Oh, I think I'm okay. God, these guys are giving chase right now. You know what? It gives me a little bit of comfort knowing they're not the best aim. I reckon I can handle them. Eventually, by the time the sun set, I was able to make it back to the safety of my cave. Kawabunga, motherfucker! Okay, that was good. I got myself some ore, stone, bunch of frags. We're chilling. One hour in, and the sun had finally set on the first day of the server. My base was secure. For now, I had a furnace, scrap, and things were looking good. But there was much more work still to be done. I spent some time now working on the base, starting with a door. And now I had an airlock. You know, if you don't include the big pit of death. You know, I'm actually super glad I grabbed that chair, because without it, I wouldn't be able to heal to 100 without wasting cloth. That was actually a big find. And instead of hiding away in my cave waiting for day, I decided to take advantage of the darkness by making a run to outpost. Why? Wood. Because fuck farming wood. Nice. And by the time I made it home, it was already turning daytime again. And it looked like my neighbors hadn't done too much overnight. Thank God. Ah! See, when I said earlier I had no blueprints, I lied. I did actually have a couple, I just forgot. One important one being the revolver. And so with all the necessary materials, I crafted a workbench level one, got myself a Revy crafted, made some ammo, kitted up, and Wiljam was ready to progress past the bow. All right, let's see if there are any prim players I can beat down on with my Revy. Oh, there's a new base down there. Another wood two by one. God, I wish I had the Molotov blueprint. That would be so helpful. Someone's farming. He's dying to a cactus. That was nice and clean. All right, come on, what have you got for me? Ah, not a whole lot. I'll take the animal fat though. Always helpful. Oh, more revies going off over there. Ooh, Thompson already. My God, these guys are gaming. Ooh, those are Thompson guys. Oh, no. Bro. That might have just been the best two revolver shots I've ever fired in my life. What? Damn, and wasted on a guy with nothing. What a shame. I returned to my cave with the little loot that I had to find some rather unwelcome visitors. Wait, there's someone in here. Bro, what? Oh, I bet those are my neighbors. Nice. Yup, my neighbors. Oh, that feels good. Anything I can do to slow them down is great for me. Not bad. Got myself a crossy, three extra bows. That was a good run. I've just realized my only deaths today are from this pit. I don't actually think I've died apart from that. That's got to be some kind of record. And we got our full TC already. I'll be able to uh, expand the old cave base soon. This is going to be a formidable base. Just you wait. Up till now, my wipe had been pretty much flawless as I steadily went through my checklist of objectives to do. But still far from complete was getting that level 2 workbench. Let's fix that. I hit up the nearby supermarket and farmed as much scrap as I could. There wasn't much there. I farmed all the crates I could, recycled, and headed home with a little bit of scrap. Well, now all I gotta do is that run five more times. <sighs> Here we are again. Squat in the chair, get the full HP, up the bucket, out the entrance, and farm scrap. But this time, it was different. You guys got a Revy. Oh, I'm on point with the revolver today. Man, I thought he'd have scrap for outposts or something. Oh, he does have a friend, though. Oh, I bet he's looking for me. Y 
easy does it. Oh shit! He's fighting a guy on the train. I'm gonna let these guys duke it out. Oh yeah, he killed him. Oh my god. I don't miss! Revy underrated for real, man. This thing's crazy. Damn, still not much scrap. Looks like that guy was, uh... Ooh, okay. Got some gears. Not bad, not bad. Oi, oi, oi. I thought that was of me. On the world. I got him. I should probably wait. That could have some good loot. Bro. No. No, I can't let him get away. Oh, go. Okay. Ah, shit. Now I gotta wait. No. I just cleaned up a fight outside Outpost. And I would have to wait 50 seconds to loot the bodies. And being full inventory, the best thing to do in this position would be to go home and bank my loot. And so, in my infinite wisdom, I stayed to loot the bodies. Oh, shit. What? Oh, that guy was crazy. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Oh, man. I just gotta get out of here. No, 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 no. Too many people. What the hell? Yeah, I'm out. Oh, shit. I should have gone when I had that chance. Come on, don't hit me. Don't hit me. You got this. Dodge and weave. Come on. Almost there. All right, we're good. We're good. God damn. I really pushed my luck there, but I think we got away with that with a few revolvers, which is nice. Oh. You know, I think my only deaths this wipe are still by my own hands. I'm doing well. Now currently, my cave base stood at a mighty four rockets to raid. But I can hardly call this base unraidable in this state, because that would just be clickbait. And I would never do that. So how do I make this base unraidable? The simple answer is, by building so many fucking walls that no one in their right mind would ever raid it. And with the outermost wall now upgraded to sheet metal, just one more stone layer, and this base had gone straight from a 4 rocket raid, to a 12 rocket raid. And that's what makes these cave bases just so powerful. Ah well look at that. 12 rocket raid for 300 metal frags, and 600 stone. That's not bad, that's really not bad. Alright, let's get this floor upgraded. I'm gonna need some more box space. I'm excited to see how this base sort of grows. I'm just gonna wing it and see what happens. Box there, and then we'll put we'll put another one next to it. Get a little campfire down, fire burning. Put another box next to the first, and then I can seal that up eventually. And that can be a nice little loot room there. I like it. Let's get rid of that wood door, and we'll put a double metal door down just so I feel slightly more secure in here but it won't be long and I'll get myself that level 2 and I'll be able to get the garage door which will make it even stronger oh yeah it's a real throne now <laughs> this is my kingdom my realm that is the cave I just realized now that I actually have no idea what time of day it is outside I don't know how many nights have passed I could have just missed entire day cycles down here it's weird there's uh, something kind of eerie about it. Hello? Is anybody out there? Enough losing my mind in the cave. It was time to get back to work. And you know what that means? Grinding scrap. Someone in the supermarket. It's only Crossy, I think. Oh my god, there's a war going on on my left. I think I should try and kill this guy because he might have scrap from the uh, supermarket. Oh, he saw me. Oh, he hits that. Okay, actually, no, this might work. I might be able to bait him into pushing me. He thinks I only have a bow. Yep, he's pushing. You fool. Oh, almost whiffed. Alright, I got him. He's mine. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, there's a Tommy guy right there. Oh, that was not worth the loot. <laughs> that guy must have seen me, right? After waiting out the Tommy player, I headed back to the supermarket, recycled everything I could find, and headed home with the scrap. I was almost there. 
I have returned. And with a good amount of scrap, I've got to be almost at the tier 2 by now. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> I need a little bit more. My furnaces were running out of metal to smelt, and I was going to need a lot more stone if I wanted to upgrade my cave. So I grabbed a pickaxe and hit as many nodes as I could find. However, just a few steps outside my cave, and I run into this. Ooh, that guy looks like he's just come from outpost. Oh, he saw me? Oh no, oh no, I might die. No way I lose this, right? Oh, oh my gosh, if he hit that, hit that arrow, I was a dead man. Oh, oh, refinery! No way, no way, no way, no way. I gotta go, I gotta go, I need that. Go, 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 go! With a lucky find, I'd got my hands on a refinery. Something that I could place all the way down in my cave. However, in my haste, I missed the blue card. Shit. But I wouldn't let it get me down, because in that run, I got everything I needed. And finding that refinery gave me a consistent source of low grade, meaning that later down the line, I might even be able to do some Molotov raids. I just had to find somewhere to put it. Okay, I really want to try and integrate this refinery somewhere into the base. So I need to find a good spot. Hmm, do you reckon that could fit in here? Come on. I reckon I can get that to fit. That could be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna add an extra layer of walls from the bucket entrance. Now this entrance doesn't have to be that strong, just because raiding from here is like very, very challenging. So most people won't do it. Um, so that's two layers. So if I had this refinery, that would be a third layer to TC, which I actually think is okay. <gasps> It went blue! It went blue! Okay, okay, that means that that can work, that can work. The refinery can go there. But, I'm gonna need the garage door first, because the refinery has a really messed up hitbox. And once you've placed it, you probably won't be able to place the door. And I don't want to mess up like that. Yes, that's like a perfect little two triangle spot for it. Okay, if I can still fit it in there, then that will be perfect. Everything was set for placing the refinery. I just needed... The garage door. <sighs> and we all know what that means. Scrap. Off we go again. The scrap. Oh yeah, that dude's just coming from supermarket. He's got to have something for me. Got a bow. Ow. Wait, <laughs> please don't kill me. Damn, my Revy has honestly been on point today. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Primlock for a reason, man. Hey! That's good, that's good. Hey, we got a rug! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, 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 hang on. Am I still on zero deaths? Like, apart from jumping down the pit? Have I actually made it this far without getting killed by a player? That's insane. Today's been crazy. Home again. After a couple of hours steadily farming scrap, I was almost there at the level 2. Thank god. But in which time I was starting to run low on resources like cloth. So, after sitting in my chair to get full HP for 5 minutes, I decided to do one run to outpost to get the remaining scrap along with some other helpful materials. I definitely need to take more advantage of the fact that I live right next to Outpost. It's such a helpful kind of tool for everything. Like, you never need to farm wood if you live next to Outpost. You just buy it. It's great. Oh, this is it. I think. I think I'm finally gonna have the tier 2. Honestly, I love Rust, but the scrap grind is so real, man. It's like, it's just gotta be done. Every wipe. Every wipe. Alright, we got the scrap. Let's go. And after forgetting to buy wood, despite that being the very thing I headed to Outpost for, I headed home. I then remembered I'd forgot the wood, and cried. Wait, I forgot the wood. <sighs> Fuck! But for now, that didn't matter. Because after all this time, I finally had enough for the workbench level 2. Yes, finally. Oh... This is what I've been waiting for. I can get the garage door, I can get my refinery placed. 
I can make this cave base strong. Right, I gotta, I gotta make, make this base ready. Let's get these walls to stone, finally. Boom. Beautiful. How do I want to do this? I could have a cool little sort of walkway along the top. That could be cool. Wait. Wait, that's like a little gap behind the wall. Wait, do I want to seal that? That could be like a little hidden loot room. Wait, <laughs> that actually could be really cool. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I don't seal that up. Maybe I, I, I kind of work something out with that later on. That tier two. Oh, beautiful. Right between my throne. Yes. It's glorious. Let's get that to Adobe. Alright, first up, garage door. I want to get this refinery on, and I want to triple the raid cost of this base from the bucket. That'll make me feel a lot safer. So, if I have done this correctly, I should still be able to fit a refinery in behind that. Hopefully. Just need to get that triangle to sheet metal, just so uh, raiders wouldn't be able to soft side up and out of the little airlock. Hmm, what color? I think we'll go for a dark red. I like the dark red shipping container skin. I think it's the best one. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the OG sheet metal, which I think is why I like it. It takes me back, man. Well, there we go. Look at that. Five rockets through the bucket entrance. 12 through the sealed entrance, but that's gonna go up later on. Oh, it fits perfectly. I'm just gonna upgrade these walls first because I've had problems in the past where uh, placing a refinery stops you from even upgrading things attached to it, and that would be a nightmare. Okay, but with that, I think we're ready. Hey, I love getting the refinery actually inside the cave base. It just has such a cool feeling to it. I don't know how to explain it. It's such a shame you can't put large furnaces. Imagine, that would be incredible. And with the bucket entrance fortified, it would be wrong not to also upgrade the main bunker. Okay, so, all we have to do, upgrade those two walls in the ceiling. And now this base is 16 rockets. <laughs> it's so satisfying. And then, add just one small layer of stone. And uh, the base is 20 rockets. The base was now 20 rockets to raid straight through the bunker walls. Good, but could be better. And trust me, I won't be stopping there. And with the workbench level 2, there was nothing stopping me from progressing past the revolver. Except the blueprints. So it was time to rise from the depths of my cave, put on my chad cap, because the best way to gear up was to PvP. Oh shit, that is a war going on outside. That's perfect. Right, where are these guys fighting? Where are they? Oh, that's a new base right there. Oh, that would be them. This might be tough to come out with any loot here. Wait. Oh, he's medding. I got him. No way. Wait, I actually might be able to loot that guy. Ah, shit! Oh, got him! 4 HP! Ah. Go, go, go! Please have meds. Oh no, he's bandages. Okay, got a Tommy. Fuck, how do I get out of here? I hate this, but I really need that P2. Getting that would be insane for me. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. Genuinely, the P2 is more important than the Thompson, because I can craft them so much more easily. Get in the cave! <laughs> That's no way. Bro, that was like the first time I actually try and fight a guy with a gun and I just... <laughs> just two bullets. Oh my god, what gun even is that? These guys are going crazy. Well, scurried back to my cave. No one will know. No idea. Well, now I had a P2 and a Thompson, which is great. I had the tier 2 guns that I was after. But did this mean I could progress past the revolver? No. Because I still couldn't craft them. And to get the blueprints, you guessed it, more scrap. So it was back in the bucket. A 
except this time while going up, I heard something pretty interesting. Oh, that's a Jackie farmer in my cave. Wait, wait, this could be huge. There's no way he would ever expect me to be coming up the bu- Oh! <laughs> Motherfucker! No, that's what I misclick! Bro, oh, he knows I'm here now, but I, he probably doesn't know where I am. And I can't see anything. Wait, he kept on farming. Bro, oh, I don't know where in this cave he is. The sounds are so bugged. Okay, that, that sounded like it was higher up. He must I think he must be higher up in the cave than me. Wait. Wait, that's that that sounded like that was behind me. But how can he Wait. Bro, what? How was he there? Wait. He must have gone. Wait. I think he was by the other bucket. Nah, that's crazy. We must have just missed each other. We got the Jackie, let's go! <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Well, I didn't get scrap, but at least I got a lot of farm. We take. Exiting my cave once again, I thought I'd explore somewhere new. And so, I headed towards Train Yard. I'm a little worried about that base. I think that was probably the Jackhammer farmer that lives right there. But they definitely have guns. I think they might have even been who I got the Thompson from. Now, base location really does just have such a big effect on your wipe. Like, I've been finding it really difficult to get scrap this wipe, but everything else has been really easy. It just kind of happens like that sometimes. Is that Hazmat chasing me? He is. He doesn't know that I've seen him. Maybe he'll uh, W key into me. Hopefully. Oh no, he knows. He's... Oh, he's sitting in that bush. Wait, what? My arrow just hit nothing. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, oh, fuck. I could be about to die here, boys. Is this the end of the run? Oh, shit, he has a teammate. They're flanking me. Bro, they're playing so passive. Oh, I'm so dead here. Bro, that's the widest flank I've ever seen. Bro, what? Nah, that's crazy. They played that so carefully. <sighs> Over three hours in, and my very first death to another player. Things were going a little better than I'd anticipated. But one should never get too complacent. Because sure enough, heading out for scrap again, to experience a similar face. And again. Had my luck run out, and my invincible streak finally come to an end? Well, let's find out. After procrastinating farming for a substantial length of time, I decided to chop some wood. I even found a pickaxe on my way home, and grabbed a few nuts. Very good. Oh shit, <laughs> I hadn't actually seen my base from the outside yet. That looks kinda cool. I like it, I like it. The shipping container's menacing, man. I wouldn't want to raid that if I saw it. My second TC still stands. Let's get out of here. Well, there's nothing like a good farming run to get the mental back. I'm feeling good. Let's get to work. While a lot of my wipe had been spent scavenging and PvPing above ground, I thought I'd spend some time now organizing my base a little and giving it some upgrades. Alright, this is a little scuffed because I couldn't place that square foundation, which is slightly irritating, but you know what? It still does for the job. This is another layer of metal honeycomb. With this, we'll be going up to what? 24 rockets? That's not bad. And then if we upgrade that very front wall to armored, that'll go up another 7 rockets, so that'll be 31, which is insane considering I've barely spent anything on it. But yeah, that's three solid layers of sheet metal from the outside to this bit here, which is uh, not actually costing me that much at all. Very good. But I'm still not gonna stop there. Let's go with another layer of stone. And then we can, that, that'll be, uh, even without the high qual, that'll at least be 28 rockets, which is, <laughs> again, good. And then with the high qual, that'll be what, 35 rockets? Holy shit, man. 
And then we just need to upgrade that to sheep. Oh, this, this can just snowball into such an expensive raid. I think by the time I've worked this wall back to my TC, I could probably get the number up to maybe 70? 70 rockets? And you know what? As a solo, if I can have a base that costs 70 rockets to raid, I, that, that's allowed to be clickbaited as unraidable, right? That, that's not really clickbait at that, <laughs> that point, right, guys? <laughs> Get that. The wall. The impenetrable wall. I once again sat on my throne and admired my creation. The cave base was coming together. Nighttime was fast approaching again, and I decided to do another outpost run. Except this time, I wouldn't forget the wood. Oh. Oh, that guy's about to die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I genuinely almost forgot again. Wood. Finally. I'm buying wood. Yes. I was running low in cloth and spent the little scrap that I had buying tack gloves to recycle. I then spent my last 20 scrap researching the most important item in the game. The bear rug. And with everything finished, I headed home. Ooh. No, no, no. Holy shit. I don't know why, I just had a feeling that there was someone behind there. That was weird. That was like a sixth sense. My god. Plenty more building materials returned to base. It was time to turn this cave into a home. Alright, I really want to see if I can mess around with this little hole back here. If I can get some boxes in here, I reckon I could make a really cool little hidden bunker area. Okay, so I've got a ladder to jump out. Now let's see, can I get a large box in here? Ah, oh, come on. Fuck, I don't think I can. Ooh, I can get small boxes in here, though. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I can definitely get another small box next to that. This is such a cool little loot room back here. Perfect. Three small boxes, that's all you need. Right, now I just need a way to get out, because that ladder did not work. Oh, that worked. I'm out. Amazing. Okay, the question is now, what do I do with the rest of the space? So that can be a shelf, I can get some boxes on there. That would be cool. And how do I incorporate this bunker without making it too obvious? Now obviously I'm not going to be able to make any real bunker mechanisms because it doesn't really work like that. But, hmm, I'm just trying to think, what would be the best way to hide this loot room completely? And while pondering this decision, it hit me. I would hide it in plain sight. Wait, okay, so anyone raiding this base would not expect there to be another loot room behind the TC, right? And so what if I just upgraded that to wood? But then I made like more stuff around it also wood. So it just looks as though I'd made it out of wood because that was all the materials I had. Like if I made this whole section over here, like a little wood area, I don't think anyone would think, oh, let, let me just soft side that random wall, right? Okay, I'm going to come back to that. But for now, I'm going to finish off the front side of the cave. So, I'm going to extend this walkway around. Alright, I like it, I like it. Although... Actually, I'm not sure that's enough walls from the cave entrance, though. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm actually going to break that wall and have the entrance to my core there. That way, this section can all just be honeycomb, making it a lot, lot stronger. That'll be an extra two layers to get to my core. Come on. Uh, please let me place a foundation here. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that works, that works. Okay, if I upgrade that to uh, sheet metal stone, that'll block off that whole side. 
And I can place a wall on top. Yes! It's coming together! Okay. Yeah, that there is perfect. Completely blocks off the uh, the cave from this side. Right, and then I can just seal up these walls here. I'm not going to upgrade them all yet, because I do want to upgrade the honeycomb that's inside to sheet metal. Just to make the base stronger in the long run. Oh, and then that can be a cool little loot room, or maybe a bedroom up there. And I can have a shelf up here or something. Wait, I got it. I can put boxes up there, that would be so cool. Yes, that's perfect. And then in this little rock, I could put maybe a repair bench or something. That would definitely place in there. Alright, well, I think I'm ready to start upgrading. I think I'm happy with that rough layout. I really hope I can fit a bed or something in there. I think that would look so cool if I can. And of course, the base would not be complete without some bear rocks. Let's get one on that wall there. Beautiful. And then, where should we put this other one? Maybe up here somewhere? Yeah, that works. That works. Let's get these bits upgraded. Oh, that's Adobe. Actually, kind of like that. That looks quite good. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hmm, maybe some windows here, actually. That would be kind of nice if you can like, look down onto the base from up here. Yeah, actually, no, I'll have the window there. And then I'll have the doorway. Yeah, I'll have the doorway there. Just put a little low wall up here. Maybe hide a box behind that or something. I like that. It's like a little balcony up here. <laughs> That's so cool. So, I reckon if I upgrade that to wood, and then also maybe the door frame to wood, that could maybe deceive someone. It would be wrong not to get a locker in here too. Let's go. Bearer gets the centerpiece. <laughs> oh, we can put a box up here. Nice. And the second most important item in the game, the normal rug. <laughs> put a scarecrow up here. I don't think I've ever actually crafted one of these. Wait. That broke the ladder? What the fuck? Bro, that was so stupid. Cave bases have a different feel, man. Does this not just feel and look like the coziest base possible, man? And like this whole space is mine. I love it. Uh, I've done a thing and I'm wasting my low grade and frags on Christmas lights, but I <laughs> it'll be worth it, I promise. Hey, that's cute. I like that. I can go behind the throne. The ice throne. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll put the other ones on the other side. Beautiful. So the cave base was coming together and beginning to earn its title as an unraidable, formidable fortress. Sort of. It was starting to get late, and it felt like the server was beginning to slow down. Or so I thought. I farmed some nodes for upkeep, headed back to Outpost for some extra scrap, and thought I'd do some exploring of the area. <laughs> Average Outpost experience. <laughs> You know what? Let's roam with the Tommy. Fuck it. I don't need the BP. I just want to use it. Let's get some meds, let's get bandages. Full send, I say. Oh, and I think that's what I'm gonna go to. Hearing some SAR shots nearby, and I thought I would risk it all and take out my Thompson on its first roam. Little did I know at the time just what I was getting myself into. over that way now. Oh shit. Looks like that guy just killed them both. 
Might be able to third party this quite easily. There he is. Okay, this one's star dead. Is that it? Might be. Huh? Where did my bullets go? Well, shit. And just like that, the Thompson I'd worked so hard for was gone. But after respawning, I realized that my death was part of something a little bit larger. Ah, uh, it's actually a couple of them. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait, how many is that? That's actually a big fucking group. My god. I, yeah, I was not getting away with any loot there. <laughs> That's like six at least. AKs. Okay, okay, there's only one thing to do about that. Hearing those AK shots so early on into wipe day, on a server like this, there would no doubt be a battle to come. And when it did, I knew that I would be there, waiting for the perfect moment with my double barrel. That's the full metal guy right there. Yeah, that's like six or seven of them, but they're actually quite spread out. Like, that guy's kind of on his own right now. I might slowly push up to that big rock. Oh, shit! No, I can definitely do something here. Oh, I hit him. Wait. Oh, those guys are fighting the AKs. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Oh, that AKs just killed them both. Okay, he's going to push towards their bodies, and the rest of his team are all the way on the left. If I play this right, I might be able to isolate him on his own. If I'm right, there should be some dead bodies right around this corner. Oh, there they are! There should be guns here, right? Bro, where are the guns? <laughs> come on, come on, come loot these bodies. And this was it. Had my patience and calculations paid off? No fucking way. Oh, how the hell am I getting out of here, man? Oh, they're already bolting me. Go, 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 go! Fucking run! <laughs> Wait, I'm being chased. That guy knows. He's got a horse. I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was weird. Go, go, go to the cave! Let's fucking go! Oh my god. I almost fumbled that bag so hard with that aim there. My god. Do I even get his body? Nope, nope, nope. The rest of his team caught up. Fuck. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so confused where I went. And so, with nothing but patience and a double barrel, I had managed to secure myself one of the most prized items in Rust. The AK, which would no doubt sit in my box for the rest of the while. Cool. But happy with my big win, I let the fight above cool down before grabbing the SAR and going for a roam. Okay, maybe now is not the best time to go out. I think I'll give it a few more minutes. God, I love living next to outposts. I don't think I've really had to farm wood today. Maybe like five trees. And that will keep all my furnaces going indefinitely. Hey, Wall Jim! Huh? I'm a big fan of you, Wall Jim! Wait, I swear oh, I named myself up. something different today. <laughs> I have not been killed Wall Jim the whole day. Why has that just changed back? What? Wall Jim, I'm, uh, I'm gonna fuck I with have this skins guy. For you. Hey, Wall what's Jim. up, man? I have skins. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Jim! <laughs> Will Jim! <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Will Jim, are we in YouTube? Oh my god, bro! What the fuck? <laughs> Will Jim! I love you so much, I Will Jim. I, I love you too, Jim. man. I love you too. Mwah. Oh my god! <laughs> I bro, I have to turn down this volume so much. <laughs>
<laughs> no, what have I done? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> World Gym! World Gym! I love you! <laughs> this isn't real, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Hope you're a good wife, bro. Hey, you too, man. You too. <laughs> you guys are so funny. So wholesome, man. And after that interesting encounter, I made my way home. Well, we got the wood. Sitting in this throne is a whole nother vibe, man. This, this is peak rust. I've won rust. This is what winning looks like, chaps. Okay, this might be a little stupid, but I just really want to use the mace. And it sucks that it costs 75 scrap, because I also need to learn the P2. But I really want to learn the mace, man. It's so cool. It's so cheap. Why is it 75 scrap? I learned the most essential blueprints only, of course, and headed back out for some final roams of my night. I hope he's got some scrap for me. Actually, laptop, not bad. That's an extra 60. We'll take it. Bonk. Hey, it was already worth the 75 scrap just for that sound alone. Hey, see how easy it is to farm scrap when you got a saw? Feels good, man. Oh, oh my god, he fumbled. He fumbled the bag. Holy shit, that was scary. Had a lot of resources on him. Ooh, is that guy just come from outposts? I definitely held that base owner online. Oh, all the rats are coming out the woodwork today. BB. Bro, why are these guys chasing me? Stop! Stop it! Go away! Bro, what is he trying to achieve? <laughs> what an idiot. And with the resources gained from the player outside of Outpost, I decided to build a forward operating base above my cave that might help me out on future adventures. So don't forget to subscribe to see those. Alright, we'll just get down a little two by one. Gives me a respawn up here if I ever need to quickly bank my loot somewhere or my cave is getting door camped could help me out plus it's not like I had to farm for it myself that kind donation from that stranger allowed me to do this perfect right I'm gonna take those comps and the scrap back to my cave oh And with my wipe day coming towards an end, I wanted to spend some final time upgrading my base. Ooh, I want to try the new AK skin that just arrived today. Wait, where is it? Oh yes, the sunken one. I haven't actually seen this yet. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's quite cool, I like it. Hey, that's some better light. Beautiful, got one in the window as well. Can never have too many garage doors. Okay, so just to see what this would look like when it's been sort of like boarded up and upgraded. I don't I don't think you'd expect that to be any loot there. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure why you would think to soft side that stone. Or wood. Ooh, and then if I put a doorway there and upgrade that doorway to wood, I feel like that would sell the illusion even more. Plus that actually looks really nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's so cool. I, mean, I don't know why that doorway just makes this look so much cooler. Question is, what skin am I gonna put on? Nice little double door on there. 
And I love this base, man. This just has such a cool feel to it. Being able to look down on the whole base from up here. <laughs> we'll, we'll put some embrasures just, just for the look. We'll keep the scarecrow though. He's cool. He's, he's chill. Alright, I can finally seal up these walls back here. Which is good. Just add some extra raid cost. Get all of these upgraded. Get more walls placed in the layers. Just layer after layer of honeycomb. Cannot go wrong. And let's get that finally sealed up. I'm gonna spend some scrap and get the bed learned because I think especially living in a cave having a bed just makes my life so much easier right I'm gonna move the locker over here because I can kind of squeeze that into the rock we'll put a little cauldron over here too wait do you reckon I could fit a box up in that like crack by the ledge wait, that would actually be so cool if I could seal it up and then you just have like this little secret box up here in the corner I'll then put my bed over here I will put a little bedside table on because why the hell not? Yeah, there we go. Get that rusty jag. Oh, I can even put a sofa down here. Yes. It's glorious. Hey, there we go. That ladder works well. That makes the jump easy. We'll chuck a fridge there. And as I prepared to finally call it for the night, I took all of my most prized riches and headed into the secret loot room. Alright, off we go. Into the little hidden back rooms. I just chuck this all in these boxes. Yeah, we got plenty of storage for it all. And then, can I put a bag in here? No, I don't think so. That would be cool if I could, but I don't think I can. And then, to hide it away, all I need to do seal it up and I don't think anyone would ever think to raid that, you know what I mean, like it doesn't look like it would be hiding anything, yet when I wake up I can just chop it out with a machete and I'll still have all my best loot, and with that the cave base was complete, my wipe day had come towards an end and I needed some sleep would my cave base survive? Can I continue to fend off the groups in my area? I guess you'll just have to subscribe to find out. I put a lot of effort into editing this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought I'd attempt a slightly different style and let me know what you guys think. With all that said, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Wiljum. Out.